iron from ice. What does that mean anyways? I just uh, yelled it. <laughs> it's the it's House Forester's um mono thing. Forester lands, the king's road. Like um, Why is he not the Starks. Stuff? How do you um, get something to put the sword into? Mm. That doesn't make sense. Like the Stark's house thing is winter is coming. And they say that like every two phrases. <laughs> winter is coming. So I have to look around. <laughs> you have to move this way. Move which way? This way? Yeah. There's nothing to look at. Soon. Blood. <laughs> blood. It's pig's blood. Mm -hmm. I'd know that smell anyway. You're investigating. Bacon. <laughs> Look at that. Told you. Am I good or what? <laughs> the greatest detective that this man has ever known. <laughs> <laughs> Something's on fire. <laughs> the smoke is black, so it must be still burning. <laughs> I learned that from The Walking Dead. Yeah. It's full of useful information. Yeah. <laughs> so when um, the zombie apocalypse starts, you'll know what. Yes. And what's happening? I'm ready. Yeah. I'm ready to fight the preppers. That's father's car. I think you're wrong. Lord Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. Does he still have his bacon? Bacon. So is that what they're here for? <laughs> well, that's, it seems like they just wasted bacon to me. Go along, boy. There's nothing for you here. I've got a big sword. I said the uh -huh. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. Yes, I do. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Look at my big sword. So <laughs> don't you have sword envy? And then we'll you to the Get off my land. This is Bolton land. Don't you feel, uh, feel emasculated by my big sword? <laughs> I reckon he like a proper lonely sword like that. Yep. <laughs> Oops. He just confirmed it. <laughs> sword everywhere. I'm really bad at this. <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'll have my sword, boy. <laughs> You'll have to pry it from my dead bones. Come get it, you bastard. Hi ya! Hi ya! Oh. Alright, finish this fucking big farmer. Pathetic. He took your big sword. I lost my big sword. <laughs> you really are a pig farmer, aren't you? Yes, I am. Chop! <laughs> oh, yeah. I did it. Bitch mm -hmm. for. So intense. Pick it up. Swing it. Ow. Yours <laughs> goes dead. <laughs> I'm barely pressing this on time. I beg of you. I should be dead already. I have a family. They'll never survive without me. I have no quarrel with you. No, please. Lord Whitefield will see you hang for this. That much I promise. Kill the horse. Ah, I bet I'll pay for that later. It's okay. He threatened my father. 
Except my pigs. Father? Yeah. <laughs> Garrett, you survived. If I learned anything from the zombie ap apocalypse, it means kill everybody. Yeah. She <laughs> hid. If we let anyone live, it oh. always comes back. You. Who's that? My sister? Yes. I tried to stop them. They're definitely dead. He did. Oh. <laughs> <not for nothing. laughs> oh. All my pigs are dead and all my family's dead. I'll kill the men who did this. That's great. You know what, though? You still have your uncle who you have to deliver that message to. Uncle. Which you don't remember. Where was he? <laughs> Or was he when my family was getting slayed? <laughs> Nowhere. <laughs> he will pay too. <laughs> feel my wrath. <laughs> oh, I guess there was three of them. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> we shall see. It's Garrett! Oh, Tell him his nephew survived. Suck it up. <laughs> Looking a little pale. <laughs> I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester. Meet us in the great hall. Quickly. Maester. Mice. Is that my uncle? Um, no. He's like the healer. Two White Hill soldiers? That's him. And a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? Some pigs. My sister, she... She was only eight years old. <laughs> this never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Is this my uncle? No, that's the maester. Oh. I was gonna say, he looks like Doogie Hauser. <laughs> Blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice Howie. was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the Whitehills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. They attacked me. I had no choice but to defend myself. Of course. And we can't let the White Elves just walk all over us. These maggots want to help prevent infection. I love maggots. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Ow. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sexy. <laughs> that's that's sex. <laughs> These are dark days, I fear. <laughs> to lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. <sighs> Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick, a serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Our house will never fall. By the gods, let's hope you're right. Yeah, the knock on some wood. Of this house is in Lord young. And altogether unprepared to lead. Right. My uncle's young. This might hurt a bit. I'm talking about somebody else. Um. I'm confused. I think I wasn't paying all that much attention, but I think they're talking about Ethan, who's the next in line. I understand from your uncle. It's gonna be. Oh, from the foresters. He did. Lord. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. That is hard. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of warcraft. Roderick had already fallen. There was nothing we could do. Mm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house, by or low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh. Oh. The man, it's really helped. Thank you. <laughs> it's perfectly fine. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Feed the maggots. 
<laughs> you're gonna it's see modern them. medicine. You're gonna hear them squatting around in there. <laughs> Just eating you. <laughs> Mm, interesting chair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Took a sweet gander at that chair. <laughs> the Ironwood Grove. It's a dirty window. <laughs> yeah, dirty window, aren't you? Do you want? And the master is just staring at you at like, and you're like, I think something's wrong. <laughs> I'm walking here. <laughs> there was a um a tap tapestry. Ooh, modern medical surprise. Look at the bucket. Mm. <laughs> yum yum. <laughs> How do, where do you get so many maggots from? Mm, yeah. Touch the maggots. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? I guess. I might need this later. <laughs> I'm accident prone, you know. Why <laughs> can't you just take his one off the lines? <laughs> I think I'll take these two. <laughs> there. This might help. <laughs> Open quote. Healing herbs. Close quote. <laughs> Wait, before you before you talk to him. There's a tapestry up there. Lose a leg. Uh, tapestry? Yeah. Look, I'll show you. Mm -hmm. Talia and Ethan. Mm -hmm. Ethan is an excellent line. Is a musician. Mm -hmm. Asher. Where's Roderick? That's Roderick. Roderick's dead. <laughs> so is Lord Forrest. What about Asher? He's alive. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. He's next in line. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Mira. <laughs> Still in King's Landing, I suppose. She's mine. <laughs> bring her home. <laughs> Lady Forrester. We don't know. Be kind to me. <laughs> Treated me like I was a forester myself. <laughs> right. Never easy being a fourth born son. <laughs> Lord Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. Huh. And why did he die if he was so good? Uh, because you shouted his name and distracted him. <laughs> did, did I do that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you just stare at him first. Does your leg feel weak? Nope. No. Talk good. I just wanted to ask you. Why do the White Hills hate the foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. Enmity? Mm -hmm. Someone killed someone, mm -hmm. which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. Can you now? Can I go now? <laughs> I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but I have a message to you. Lady Forrest. Mm -hmm. Welcome home, Garrett. No. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. <laughs> Talia asked to see you. <laughs> Is it true? <laughs> He's like, you know what? She's single now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Me too. Off to bed now. Hurry on.
Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He loved his family, my lady. He was very proud of Roderick. Yet he was unable to save him. You were with Roderick. What is the deal with people? I'm sure mm -hmm. it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. I'm sorry, my lady. Nothing could be done to save him. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told. I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. I yes, don't have a message. Lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? If you can remember. Let's see. I'll read that saying. <laughs> That's very kind of you to say. But he wouldn't have said that. <gasps> Die! <laughs> Ethan should have it, now that he is Lord. Lord Forrester asked me to return it to the house. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Keep it. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. That's your uncle. That's my uncle. Mm -hmm. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming mm -hmm. to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, do you understand what this means? You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forrester land. You can't fault the boy for defending himself. I don't. But they'll say they were keeping the peace in the name of House Bolton. It's an argument we cannot win. We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark was smart. Of course, I said it with my uncle. Him. What do you think? So, what's to be done? Why are you asking me? Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I'd have done the same as any man. I've done nothing wrong. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. <laughs> I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take, which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan, the boy has suffered enough. But where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even oh, house bolts. You're sending him to the wall. <laughs> the wall is done nothing wrong. Oh, Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. <laughs> Especially now, when the house is so vulnerable. <laughs> I'll do what's best for the house. So I'll go. I'm not afraid. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. I need to talk to my uncle first. And pray. That settles it then. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. Uncle. Where's it going? Hey. Oh. <laughs> He's teleporting. Do I need to say something to him? Yes. You have that message. Doesn't he close the door now? Word up to me. I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given a chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, 
have House Forrester to consider first. Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the House ahead of your own. <clears throat> Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. I'll do what's best. Which He's often is what's easiest, mm -hmm. but necessary nonetheless. Mm -hmm. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, the North Grove can never be lost. What's the North Grove? Sorry, you caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. He said, tell only you. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools, and it's better kept that way. Mm -hmm. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Kept your word. You haven't told anyone else, have you? This, this is, is my girlfriend. <laughs> of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Mm -hmm. Become a ranger if you can. Mm -hmm. It will help. <sighs> Iron from ice. Why? Iron from ice. That means... You represent you. House <laughs> Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor <laughs> and dignity show. of the house. House, house Forrester. I know you will. I love you too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Garrett, wait! <laughs> Take this to remember me by. It's dangerous to go outside. Here, have this. How predictable. <laughs> Be safe. Bring it back to me. Why'd you go to me in the first place? Boom. <laughs> <laughs> such a dream. <laughs> he has such pretty brown eyes. 